While deep learning has received great appraise in the field of artificial intelligence, it comes with huge time and data requirements. However, a new method has emerged that promises to cure the drawbacks of deep learning, transfer learning. Let's dive deeper into what AI guru Andrew Ng famously described as the next driver of machine learning's success. What is transfer learning and why should you care? Imagine yourself back in the days when you tried to ride a bicycle for the first time. It was difficult and it took time. You needed to learn everything from scratch, how to keep balance, how to steer the wheels, how to brake. Now back to the present. Imagine you want to learn how to ride a motorcycle. You don't need to start from zero. It's much easier for you to learn how to keep balance or use the brakes. Even though you're in a different setting, you can transfer the skills learned from riding a bicycle. That's also the essence of transfer learning. A more formal definition of transfer learning goes as follows. Transfer learning is the improvement of learning in a new task through the transfer of knowledge from a related task that has already been learned. Having learned how to keep balance on a bicycle improves your learning of how to keep balance on a motorcycle. Similarly, an algorithm that has learned to recognize dogs can be trained to recognize cats with relative ease by transferring certain abstract concepts. All of these are rough concepts, and before you go into battle with this knowledge, we need to dive one level deeper into the matter. How conventional machine learning algorithms work. In brief, machine learning is the general term for when computers learn from data without being explicitly programmed. Instead, machine learning algorithms recognize patterns in the data and make predictions once new data arrives. So far, conventional machine learning algorithms have been built to learn specific tasks. They are designed to work in isolation, and this works well both in theory and practice. But training algorithms from scratch also has drawbacks. As specialized algorithms, they reach high performance only in their specific area of expertise. No matter how state-of-the-art they are, they are only state-of-the-art for a specific thing. If tasked with a new problem, they would not know what to do and they would make wrong predictions. Recall the bicycle example again. Imagine you have learned how to ride a bicycle. Even if you were a world champion in trick cycling, you would have to start from scratch when learning how to ride a motorcycle. The world champion would be a rookie again. Similarly, models have to be rebuilt from scratch in conventional machine learning. Since model training takes time and money, many problems aren't profitable with a traditional approach. Besides, most machine learning algorithms require vast amounts of data. Deep learning models in particular most often need millions of data points to generate meaningful results. These data needs are often difficult to satisfy in practice. That is also one of the primary reasons why machine learning has mainly been a privilege to large companies. Smaller enterprises just haven't had the required resources to continuously feed and train machine learning algorithms from scratch. Enter transfer learning. Transfer learning is a technique that enables algorithms to learn a new task by using pre-trained models. Let's see how conventional machine learning and transfer learning compare. In traditional learning, a machine learning algorithm works in isolation. Knowledge is not retained or accumulated. Learning is performed without considering past learned knowledge in other tasks. So here, dataset one feeds learning system task one and dataset two feeds task two and so on. When given a large enough data set, it learns how to perform a specific task. However, when tasked to solve a new problem, it cannot resort to any previously gained knowledge. Instead, a conventional algorithm needs a second data set to begin a new learning process. In transfer learning, the algorithm can store and access knowledge. The learning of new tasks relies on previously learned tasks. The learning process can be faster, more accurate, and need less training data. The model is general instead of specific. Benefits of transfer learning. This technique of transfer learning unlocks two major benefits. First, transfer learning increases learning speed. With fewer new things to learn, the algorithm is able to generate high quality output. To use an analogy, an ice hockey player is likely to learn more quickly to play field hockey than the average person because certain concepts apply to both disciplines. Second, Transfer learning reduces the amount of data required. 
In traditional learning, an algorithm can only learn when fed with enough training data, sometimes millions of data points. This data might not be available at all or too expensive to generate and prepare for the model. We hope that it's clearer now why Andrew Ng sees transfer learning as the next driver of machine learning success. By leveraging previous knowledge, transfer learning makes projects possible that were unfeasible before, both in terms of data and budget. Transfer learning at Levity. Our whole architecture is built around transfer learning and we constantly strive for what is commonly referred to as state-of-the-art performance. Thanks to transfer learning, our users can train their algorithms with relatively little data and get satisfying results to start. So whenever a user hits train model, the best suited model is automatically selected and trained. If you want to see it in action, just drop us a note and we'll take you deeper into the rabbit hole. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.